Reactor kettles have a component called a coil. The coil is also called snake pipe because it is coiled up like a snake. In a reactor, a cooling or heating medium is passed into the coil to cool or heat the reactor. The coils are sometimes on the inside and sometimes on the outside. There are also cases where another form of heating is required and the coil is simply not used. Therefore, when we look at a reactor with or without a coil, we should never look at its appearance. There are two choices of coils. One is an internal coil and they look like what you are watching at now. These are the semi-finished coils. Generally, they are made from corrosion resistance material like stainless steel 304, 316L, and other non-ferrous metal with higher resistance feature. The other is an external coil, which usually looks like this. It wrapped limply around the kettle body. But after a bit of conditioning by the master worker, he immediately became upright. Its edges need to be tightly welded to the kettle body. Even the use of an automatic submerged welder is required. This is what the outer coil looks like when it's all welded up. Very nice! What's this? Let me check it out. Wow, they're an inner coil hidden in a reactor. I catch you.